All right, guys, so part of being a good house guest is always leaving the place nicer and cleaner than you got it. So we would not even have a place to operate if it was not for Lunkers and for Guggen Squad because, again, this area right here on the other side of that beautiful, actually it's not beautiful, but on the other side of that wall is the Guggen Squad headquarters. All right, so this warehouse is just, it's extra space. It's 6,000 square feet. And as you can see, you can tell they were doing some construction, things like that. There's all kinds of stuff around here that needs to be cleaned up. Did we make this mess? No. But are we going to clean it up? Heck yes, we are. And why? Because Rob has been so kind to let us use this space rent-free. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this place up. The team is still here setting up an auction. I've actually already cleaned this area, put all the trash up. All that good stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work my way this way and we're gonna set up the new Grimes Finds headquarters at least for the next month. All right, guys, so here is your update. Look at all the beautiful trash is in a nice pile. There's a pet trash, but look, all of that is just clean, clean, clean. So I'm not gonna throw anything away because I don't know what Rob thinks is trash or not, uh, but if all of this stuff is trash and the stuff they actually pulled out uh, when he probably purchased this, I'm gonna offer to load it up in a dump or in his dump trailer and take it to the dump. I'll pay for it, everything, uh, just because he's been so generous. So anyway, if he wants this stuff gone, We'll go ahead and clear all of the lumber. That's all trash and paper. Uh, that pile back there is trash. So we're gonna load that up on the dump on Monday, take it, anything Rob wants us to take. All right, so look, we're finishing up. Boom, look, this was all had stuff all over the place. Uh, so now it is nice and clean. Uh, but check it out. This is actually the auction that closes tonight, guys. It closes tonight at 8 p.m. Central. If you've been looking for a way uh, you're like, Justin, I, I mean, I don't like you that much. I like your channel, I don't like you that much. I want to donate money to help y'all restart. Hey, maybe you want to buy something because we got a lot of cool stuff. So let me take you around and show you some of the cool stuff that you can win at the auction tonight. All right, so the guys are finishing up picking up trash. The floors are starting to look good. Uh, I think Monday what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a blower in here. I'm just going to blow everything out of here. Uh, that stuff over there is Rob. So I'm going to ask him what he wants done with that stuff. He might want me to just throw it in the auction. Um... And so we'll sell that for him. Oh yeah, there, I remember that. Uh, and like I said, we'll haul this stuff off for him if he wants to, this. Uh, because like I said, we wanna leave this place nicer than when we freaking got it. So check this out. We actually just finished up this auction that closes tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time. Where you can have a chance to win something from Grimes Finds Auction because maybe, hey, you're like, Justin, I like your channel, but your videos aren't that great. I'm not, I don't wanna donate to help you uh, in the team rebuild. Hey, that's okay. We still love you. We still want you to be here, but hey, check it out. What if I offered you some really cool antiques, collectibles, home goods, anything, great stuff, crystal, starting at a dollar goes to the highest bidder. What would you do if I told you that? Would you purchase something? I hope so. So let me check this out. All right, so let me take you around real quick and show you some of the cool things that you can bid on. Can't bid on her. Definitely can't bid on her. That's mine. So anyway, and I'm hers, so don't freak out, ladies. Yo, what are you talking about? She's your possession? Yeah. Kind of biblically, and I'm kind of her possession biblically, but we'll get into that later. Uh, so anyway, check it out. Uh, look, we found a lot of jewelry, guys. Here's all the silver that we found. Uh, you'll recognize some of this. Uh, the big, look, look at this big lot, y'all. Hey, all you fashion jewelry people, I'm telling you right now, this is not, there's some name brand stuff in there. I believe all this stuff is probably 50s and newer. Yeah, over here, look, we got some cast iron. We got this cool little hand-painted lamp. I actually really dig these little uh, wall shelves. Look how pretty those are. Those would look amazing. So anyway, there's two of those. Up here, we got some creepy old guy. Actually, that looks like Rob. That might be Rob when he gets older. So if you put a Guggen hat on him, yep, that might be him. Actually, this might be, I don't know. Hey, but check Tom it out. Hanks. It does look like Tom Hanks. Maybe Tom Hanks is a, uh, hey. he's a time traveler. Tom Hanks has the Oh my God. Did you know that when you said that? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh. Mom, I'm going to cry so Oh God, hard stop it. Tom Hanks has the coronavirus. We're pretty sure he's going to, he's going to get better. Uh, but hey, we love it. Uh, we do love Tom Hanks. Great actor. Great. Uh, I'm not going to say I agree with him on other things, but he's a great <laughs> actor. Uh, but check it out. All this cool stuff. Look, a nice wood dresser. These are really cool, y'all. This whole lot right here, these vintage porcelain uh, pigs. 
And these are really cool. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Some of you older people will recognize you. A lot of you youngins, y'all aren't going to recognize these because these were actually around before I was born. But what the bank would do is give you these little uh, banks, right? And you put your money in them. So look, check it out. Uh, and then look, here's a, here's a cool piggy bank. It's missing the bottom, but this is actually copper, and it's a really cool one. What's it say? Three little pigs. And right here, guys, these are what we call in the auction industry box lot, right? It's something that's not really high enough value to be by itself, um, but there's a lot of resellable items, a lot of good items. Uh, you'll be able to see that at the catalog. You can go there and you'll get better pictures of each box. But so each box actually starts at a dollar. And these are really, really, really good for resellers. Uh, even YouTube resellers. Uh, this stuff has got collectibles and stuff, but it's just stuff that, I, again, I would say it's not super high in value that I think deems to be in a lot by itself, like this costume door. These, I think these boxes should go for probably $150 to $200 a piece because I know what's in here. And here's the deal. A lot of you are saying, Justin, that is wacky as crap. There ain't even gold and silver in there. Well, actually, there might be gold and silver in there. And actually, a lot of vintage costume jewelry is way more valuable than any gold or silver ring. And over here, look, we got plenty of beautiful signed art. Look at that. So look, that's actually a really cool clock. That's a print, kind of cool. That is actually a really good painting, guys. Don't miss out on this. I'm not gonna do it, you do the research. And if somebody finds out, actually a lot of you did in one of the videos when we found this, but guys, this is a real oil on canvas. Actually, I think that's acrylic, that's acrylic. Uh, but look, here's the signature, and just look at the gold filigree frame. But I'm gonna tell you right now, that painting right there is worth three to 500 easy, and it's only gonna start at a dollar. All right, guys, real quick update before we get to the big news of some big new videos that we're doing this week. Check your emails. If you have registered for the re registered for the Grimes Finds auction that closes tonight, guys, right after this video, I need you to check your emails. We have to postpone local in-person pickup just for the safety of everything going on here in Dallas. We just want to be wise. We want to be smart. So check the email out. But hey, shipping, we're going to ship. We're going to do the shipping out of our home, so it'll be... Cheap and inexpensive. So, hey, don't let that stop you from bidding. We will be able to do local in-person pickup at Gooden Squad headquarters next week. So make sure to stay tuned for that. All right, guys. So some of you know that my buddy, Jeremy from What the Hells, is coming into town. And look, stores and everything are closing. I have a cabin. I was like, what are we going to do for videos, guys? Look, there's units this week. We are going to the auction. We're going to probably, eh, probably try to stay online. But I'm going to go to the live ones, too. But check it out. I got a cabin. I need to blow off some stress. The corona thing, it's making it harder to rebuild my business. Hey, I, I hate to ask this, but if you will, share the GoFundMe because this really is, this is slowing down our progress. Businesses everywhere are slowing down. Finding a realtor to show us a building or anything like that is just going to be really, really difficult. All right, guys. So one of the new videos we're going to do is, is I have a cabin up in Oklahoma. Jeremy's coming in. Actually, me and the team are probably leaving tomorrow morning. We're going to go up for the day. And I have hogs that tear up our food plot area that we have. And so we need to get rid of some of them boogers. But here's the deal. We're not. We're going to... We're gonna clean them on camera. So if you're squeamish, you're gonna probably not like some of the videos this week. So, but hey, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for something like this. A lot of you guys don't know that I love the outdoors. I'm a really kind of outdoors guy. I have been since I've been in the Marine Corps and before that. So anyway, I'm just walking around my house because I can't go anywhere because everybody's freaking out. But there is wisdom in just staying in and letting everything die down. So uh, anyway, so we're gonna make great hunting videos this week. Me and Lonkers are probably gonna go up to my place. We actually might hit the Flying A Ranch, do some things out there. I do wanna do some fishing and then we're gonna go do some hunting. I know you guys are excited about that. There are also a bunch of abandoned cabins, guys, from back in the 50s and 60s up in the mountains. They're still, it's, they're really creepy. So we're gonna go, we're gonna take a, a couple four-wheelers up there. We're gonna go explore in the woods. It's really, it's like Jason Voorhees, like Friday 13th, like super creepy and out, out in the middle of the dark. We are in the middle of a national forest, guys. My cabin is literally surrounded by 800,000 acres 
There's so much to do there. We're going to do fishing. We're going to do hunting. I'm going to show you the abandoned cabin. So I really, really hope that you look forward to those kind of videos. All right, guys. And the last update that I have for you, right? Okay, so the gift, right? The lady that you heard about, she had a gift for us. Uh, actually, uh, this picture right here is of Katie and Jacob actually dropping four gold coins. It was about ten thousand, eight to ten thousand dollars worth of, of gold coins that this lady gave us um, on Friday. Why are they in the mail? I'm not going to say why. I just can't accept them. I just don't feel comfortable accepting them. So I sent them back to the sender. We took them, but I was kind of in shock whenever it happened. And I was like, there's, I just, I just, just for certain reasons, I just feel like, um, I might, um, jeopardize my integrity. We appreciate it. We're going to send a nice note, a uh, letter to the person who tried to give them to us, but I can't accept that. Uh, do we need the money right now? <laughs> Heck yo, we need the money right now. But, um, look, there's just some things that money, uh, I'm just, again, I'm not going to jeopardize my integrity over, ten thousand dollars and there just there, there would be some there uh it's not anything against the person i just I, I can't do it i just can't do it so anyway the it was somebody said justin you clickbait us you never dropped the video i'm not gonna drop the video because i felt really uncomfortable about the situation but seriously that's what happened they tried to give us ten thousand dollars in gold and some other things but anyway hey we appreciate it again but i can't accept it they're on the way back uh that's that so yeah i know that's weird but that's just who I am. I'm a weirdo. Hey, but anyway, that's the end of this video. Sorry it's so short. Tomorrow we'll have back a 20-minute video. Maybe 30. Maybe 30. Uh, but hey, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, select all, because we do do premieres, because we like hanging out with you, because we would not be here without you. We love you. We'll see you at the next video.